Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a subscriber, if you're not, I ask that you would please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and please make sure you hit that bell so that it's a solid color so you can be notified of any and all new videos. Um, I'd had this idea for a video that I'm doing um, right now for a while and I was putting it on hold but I've noticed that there's so many people right now who are, who keep coming to me and keep, I just keep seeing people's posts and I keep seeing people mentioning it and coming to me and saying this, that I thought it would be a really good idea for me to put this video out here now. Um, a lot of people are stressing out. A lot of people are are under a lot of stress and their anxiety is going off the wall um, a lot of people are worried and worry and stress is not something that we want in our lives worry and stress is something that it can cause damage to our bodies and to our minds and the first thing that a doctor is going to do is to put you on medication for worry, uh, for stress, for anxiety, for depression, and there's a better answer. And I'm going to give you that answer, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about anxiety because I know from, well, I know from experience what it's all about, and I just thought it would be good to put this out here for you guys. I thought it would be really good to put this out here, so I'm going to. Um, just give me one second. I know I just started, but just, oh, by the way, if you noticed, my hair is darker. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. I apologize. I'm back. Um, the only reason I was, I was going to get, I'm getting old, sorry. Sometimes I need this to help me see. <laughs> so anyways, um, People are stressing because of what's going on in the world. People are stressing because of what's going on all around them. Things that are happening. Things that we can't control. Um, that's something we need to keep in mind is that what's happening in the world today is not something that we have any control of. Um, what's happening in the world is, is it was prophesied. In the Bible there's things in there there's we are going through we're living in the last days and if you can't see that open up your Bible and start reading Revelation and start reading Isaiah and start reading some of these books that talk about things in the end times and you will see that we are in those times but we don't have to stress we don't have to stress um, if you know Jesus is your Lord and Savior you have nothing to stress about. You should be happy. You should be looking forward to being able to being able to be with him and see him and be be with him for eternity. But I know that some of you are having a lot of issues with being able to grasp things that are happening and, and it and it can be scary. I get it. It can be scary. I personally Either A, I never knew that I had anxiety, or B, it took years for it to come out. Um, and uh, many of you know, some of you may not know, I, when my father passed away in 2004, um, it completely wrecked me, emotionally, physically. I was physically ill, and after that happened well it was apparently in my genetics prior to but after he passed on I automatically my I had psoriasis and it just came out and I have it really bad and when I stress it gets worse because it feeds off of stress just like many other things feed off of stress stress can cause headaches stress can, stress can cause you to be tired um, and depression as well depression can cause a lot of a lot of problems and again like I said the first thing that a lot of people will do is go to the doctor and the doctor will give you pills 
I know this again too well. Um, I am taking anxiety medication myself. And I don't like to take it. But I do. But aside from taking medication, there's other ways that you can help yourself. There's other ways that you can de-stress. Now, again, if you are a believer, if you have God in your life, if you have Jesus in your life, then you will be able to relate to what I'm saying. If not, you may not you would not, you may not be able to relate. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't try and you shouldn't listen. This music that's on right now in the background is just piano music. It's piano worship. But it's very relaxing and very calming. You can just lay down and just listen to this music and just breathe deep to relax and focus on God and focus on peace. You can, if you're feeling down, even if you're not feeling down, even if you're just anxious or something's bothering you, you just got into a fight with somebody, just go lock yourself in your room. Put on some praise and worship music and just start to praise. And once you start to praise, you're bringing yourself closer to the presence of God and you'll be peaceful and you'll feel joyful and you won't feel that anxiousness anymore. And it does help. You can also pray. God's there. He will hear you. You can pray to Him. You can also read your scriptures. There are. Did you know that there are scriptures about anxiousness and worry? Did you know that? See, God knew these things. Jesus knew these things. And He left us things that we could read for assurance, reassurance. And... Um, I actually found one of them in here. Actually, there's one on the screen right now on TV um, that I can read, that I can tell you what it says. Let me get out of the way. It says, Philipp Philippians 4, 7, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understandings, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And all through this music, they play all of these all of these different verses but I'm going to read you another verse that I actually found in the Bible and yes I need to use my magnifying glass <laughs> it is John 14 27 it says peace I leave with you my peace I give you I do not give to you as the world gives do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid and these are the words of Jesus he wants us to have peace. He doesn't want us to be troubled. He doesn't want us to be worried. He doesn't want us to be anxious. He wants us to have peace. Um, there is a psalm that I know a lot of people actually read. And it's a very good one. It's a very, very good one. And I'm going to find it. It is Psalm 91. If you have not read it, please, please do. It is people actually use this psalm as a prayer and let's see let me find it but people actually use this as a prayer and they say it every single day and it's a good one to it's a good one to actually say so if you have a Bible go find Psalm 91 and you can read it okay so Psalm 91 he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the, from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers. Let me turn. Let me turn. And under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, 
nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked if you make the Most High your dwelling. Even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent because he loves because he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. That's a very, very good psalm. It's a good psalm. It's a good prayer. And if there's a lot of psalms that you can find in here that are really good like that. Um, but we're not supposed to worry. We're supposed to lean on God. We're supposed to trust in our God. And did you know... Did you know that you have angels all around you, protecting you? God sends his angels to watch over you. Every second of every minute, of every hour, of every day, of every week, every month, of every year. You have angels around you. And these angels were given the job of watching over you and protecting you. They protect your home. They protect you. They watch over you as you sleep. They're always there. So just, just know God's got you. God's got your back. Don't stress out. Don't worry. Sometimes we just need to go and have some alone time with God. And the enemy is going to try to sneak in there to give you reason to be anxious or give you reason to worry. And if that happens, don't forget, as a believer, you have authority. You can tell him to leave in the name of Jesus. And he has to. He will flee. But he will try all he can do from arguments with your spouse or your family to just putting you in a in a really bad mood, um, putting thoughts in your head, you know, uh, what if this happens? What if that happens? Um, you know, you're not worthy because you did this, you did that. Well, that's the enemy talking to you because the spirit of God wouldn't say things like that. The spirit of God speaks positive, not negative. And when that happens, if that happens, I'll tell you right now, the thing that the enemy hates the worst is when he's trying to bring you down and you pick this up. You pick up that word and you, you get into that word and you read that word. He cannot stand when you do this. Or when you praise God, sing worship songs. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like that at all. And he'll leave because he doesn't want to be around it. So if you start feeling anxious or, or angry or stressed out, pick up God's word, get into it, read it. Look in the back in the concordance part of your Bible or, and look up stress, look up anxiety, and it will lead you to many, many scriptures where you can, it'll, it'll tell you It'll tell you. It'll describe to you what you know what to do. It'll tell you not to worry. It'll tell you not to be anxious. This right here, this right here, is not just a book. Like some people see it. It's just a book. It's not just a book. This is this is God's living word. This is the Holy Bible. This this is our manual to life the way God wants it to be. This is this is what we look to. 
and we should be we should be reading this on a daily basis there are plans out there that you can find where you can do plans that will help you to get through the Bible. They will help you to understand. There is, um, they have a through the Bible in a year. They have through the New Testament in a year, which I'm actually doing. They have, they have, they have a lot of them. And if you want them in chronological order, just look it up and you can find them. Bible in a year, chronological order. And it can kind of help understand things better. But I just wanted to let you guys know, um, you know, you're not alone if you're anxious. You're not alone if you're worried. You're not alone if you're fearful. You're not alone if you have anger in your heart. You, I have been through all of it. I still go through all of it. But we have to learn not to give in to the enemy. We have to learn that as soon as we feel an attack from him coming on, we need to learn that we need to put our foot down and we need to tell him no. And you can. Don't be afraid. You've got the authority to tell him no. And that's it. You say, no, I'm not going to do this. I am saved. I am washed in the blood of Jesus. And you have to leave. You have to flee. Because I'm telling you in the name of Jesus. Because he gave me authority to do so. And be firm. Stand on this word. This word says that we have the authority. Put on your armor. Every day. Put on your armor. And if you don't know what the armor of God is. It's the helmet of salvation. Know that you are saved. If you're a child of God, know that you're saved. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Know that because of God, because of what he did, you are made righteous. Put on the belt of truth. Let nothing come out of your mouth that isn't true. Let only God, let only the truth come out. God's truth. Because we don't want lies to come out. Because that doesn't come from God. It comes from the father of lies. Put on the boots of the gospel. Because as a believer, we, we are supposed to stand strong on God's word. Yes. Learn God's word. Read it. Know it. Pick up the shield of faith. Because as a believer, we need to have faith. That God is with us and protecting us always. And then pick up the sword of the Spirit because the Holy Spirit lives in us. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is like a dark, is like a sharp double-edged sword against the enemy. Okay. Always put on your armor. When you wake up in the morning. Don't even step out of your bedroom. I know that the first thing everybody wants to do is go grab that coffee. I know if you're a coffee drinker, I know, I get it. But there's something that's more important than coffee. Thank God for that day. Thank God that you woke up. Thank God for your day. Thank God for everything. Thank God you had a bed to sleep in. Thank God for everything. Everything. Thank God that, you, that you, he gave you breath. And that your heart is still beating. Pray, pray, pray. That's another thing. Pray to God. You need to pray. And when I say pray, I don't mean give me this, give me that. I want this, I want that. When you pray... Pray for others. Pray for the government, because they need it. Pray for your families. Pray for your friends. Pray for the people who are unsaved, that they would be saved. Pray for all these little babies losing their lives. Pray for the orphans. 
pray for the widows. Pray for the people that are on the streets. Pray for everybody. And when you do pray for them, pray with a repentant heart for them. Ask God to forgive them. Ask God to forgive these people for what they're doing. And after you're done praying, like I said, you put on that armor every day. And then pick up your Bible. And at least read at least read one book in the Bible. One chapter. And try to do that every day before you even get out of bed. And that will set your mind on the right path. Then go downstairs and have your coffee. Or out of the room and have your coffee. But before you have your coffee, you need to feed your spirit. Because your spirit needs to be fed. And then throughout the day, you know, you can... If you're doing something, say, you know, thank you, Father, for this. Thank you for this. And thank you for that. And I appreciate this. And you can talk to him throughout the day. And if you, if you feel throughout the day that you need to talk to him more on a personal basis, then go, go, in, your, go in your room, go, go in your bathroom, go wherever you want. Talk to him, and he, he'll hear you. And then before you go to bed at night, please make sure that you're praying again. Pray before you go to bed. Thank him for the day that he gave you. Thank him for the night. Ask him to give you peace, a peaceful rest. And read, read your Bible again before you go to bed. Twice a day. It's kind of like medicine. Take it twice a day. But this is better than medicine. But that's what I do, and I can tell you that it helps me. It really does. Know, just know that God is here. He's always here. And He loves us. So we don't have anything to worry about. We don't have anything to worry about. He's with us. Angels are fighting battles that we can't even imagine right now around us. It's kind of a good thing that we can't see what's going on around us. <laughs> because the angels that are around you right now are fighting off evil forces that you don't even know. But that's because God sent them to do that for you. So you are safe. You're fine. You're good. Don't be stressed. Don't be anxious. Don't be worried. And I would, like to, I would like to let you all know that if you need someone to talk to, you can always reach out to me. And don't forget that I do lives on the ministry page for the least of them. Every Saturday, usually 8 or 8.30 p.m., where we have prayer and we have fellowship. And if you need to talk or if you need to come in and get prayer, you are more than welcome. Also, if you need just if you want to just talk to somebody one on one, let me know in the comments below and we can arrange to talk. I'd be more than happy to help you because I know what it's like to need somebody. I know. So, I love you all. And when I say that, it's not, I'm not talking from my head, just saying it to say it. We were told, God told us, Jesus told us, that we are supposed to love everyone. So, I, I am giving you the love of God from my heart. And I want you to know that I'm here. If you need me, I'm here. And that's earnestly, I'm, I'm saying that from my heart. I just know that there's a lot of hurting people. And I don't want to see, I just don't want to see people hurting. 
and I can tell and I'm telling you that there's a way you can feel better so I hope you enjoyed watching this I hope it helped someone I really do I hope that it helped you all to listen to this and I want you to know that I always pray for you guys even if I don't know you if I say my my friends and family on Facebook and YouTube and God knows who you all are so you're always in my prayers always in my thoughts so thank you so much thank you thank you so much for watching if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior before I leave I would like to invite you to do so you don't have to if you don't want to I, I don't push anybody that's not what it's about everyone has a choice but if you feel in your heart like something's tugging and something's telling you that you should do this that's God that's the Holy Spirit and he's telling you you need to do this so if you feel that please please listen to me the first step and it's probably the hardest step a lot of people can't do it or won't do it is admitting that you're a sinner so we are born into sin everyone's born into sin it doesn't mean that you're out murdering people sin is just a little lie it's a sin so we all sin by nature so I would like you to you can pray any way you want to pray or I can help you pray but what you're gonna do is you're gonna say something like this Heavenly Father I admit right now that I'm a sinner I'm living a life of sin and I don't want to live I don't want to be a sinner anymore I want to know you and I believe Heavenly Father that you came down as man Jesus came down as a man walked on this earth amongst other men amongst other women he was ridiculed he was beaten he was battered he was bruised he was hung on a cross and he shed every ounce of blood so that I could be forgiven and I believe that and he was buried in a tomb and three days later he rose again and he's alive and he's coming back so I ask right now Lord Jesus come into my heart be Lord of my life that's all you have to do and that's it you can say it however you want to say it, but all you need to do is admit that you're a sinner. Admit that you're a sinner. Believe that Jesus came and died for your sins and rose again. And confess it with your mouth. And then let me know that you did so. But I pray right now. I, I'm going to pray for you and I'm going to close this video. I don't want to make it any longer. But I do pray for peace for you guys. Heavenly Father, I pray right now for everyone who's watching this video. I pray that you, I pray that you would comfort them. Give them peace. Take away their anxiety, their worry, their fear, their stress their depression and replace it Lord 
with your peace, your gentleness, your kindness, your joy. I just pray, Lord, just take all of the anxiousness away. I know, I know what it's like, Lord, and it isn't any fun. So I just ask, Lord, just give these people rest, give these people joy, give these people your peace. Just pour your Holy Spirit down on them, Lord. Let them feel your love. Let them feel your joy. I thank you, Heavenly Father, and I ask you this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. I want you to know that this video, it was sitting on my heart. It was really sitting on my heart, and I'm like, I, I need to put this out here, and that's why I'm here doing this. I have to be on a church service in 30 minutes, which would be nice if you guys could join us on Sundays, by the way, on for the least of them at 7 p.m. I didn't realize how late it was. <laughs> so I need to go. But God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed, blessed day.